There is a chance for rain. Evi, your father didn't reach it. Yes, mom. Mom, do you know why he was called by Gresham? I don't know, Evi. You know, Gresham was arrested. The trial will be on tomorrow. I know it, mom. My father is the only witness against Mr. Gresham. Then why did he want to see my father? I don't know, dear. He doesn't share much about his business affairs to me. I have also deposited money there. But your father didn't tell me to withdraw it even in the time of bank wreck. Has he done anything wrong, mom? The news said so. No, no, Evi. Your father is an honest man. He won't lie anybody whatever happens. But the staff say they didn't know anything about it. Only Gresham knew it. As my father is very close to Gresham, I doubt. What do you mean, John? He will never do such a thing. I know it. Okay, father has come. Let's ask him. Are you wet? It's raining. No, dear. I took the car. Well, uh, Dad, what happened in your bank? Okay, I'll tell you. It was only the day before the breakup. I knew that something wrong is happening there. So I told the Grecian to close the bank. But the newspapers are saying... You should have informed it to newspapers. Because now your name rests under the cloud. Don't worry. It will be clear tomorrow. Gresham wanted to see me today. You know, I am the only witness against Gresham. He wanted me to say, I am not remembering. He knows you well. How dare he ask such a thing to you? What did you say, Dad? It's clear, you know. But I didn't use any bad words. Because we have been keeping a friendship for many years. He understood what I mean. What did he say? He wasn't surprised because he knows me well. He is so desperate that he doesn't know what he is doing. He even offered me money. Money? Yes, hundred thousand dollars. I have got only a few years to live. But I'll leave those as I'll live the rest of my life. I'll go to my grave clean. Hundred thousand dollars for saying you don't remember? But I can't do it. Oh, they are going to punish Grisham, aren't they? Yes, he has done a crime. But I think nobody loses anything. Then also it's a crime, John. Dad? If you let him move, it won't be a bad thing. Baby, she's right that if you forget it... No, I can refresh my memory. I have notes. Without notes, you wouldn't remember. So, it won't be a lie that... It doesn't seem right to me to send an old friend to jail. Are you telling me to accept the bribe money? If you go understand tomorrow... They put John Grisham in jail. Then what will people say? They'll say I have done my duty. When they find out that they haven't lost any money, they won't want him to go to jail. I believe in being merciful, Robert. You have been out of work since the bank closed. I'll find a position. A hundred thousand dollars would mean a great deal to us, Robert. So, you want me to take this money? You could go into business with someone else that a hundred thousand is a lot of money. God knows, I never thought this day would come. If I take this money, I do a dishonorable thing and you know it. It's not wrong, Robert. It's not right. Someone is coming. It looks like a marshal. It's Marshall, the president of the Third National. How are you, Mrs. and Mr. Baldwin? 
Mr. Bobbin, I am here to inform you that you will find a position waiting for you in Perth National. Are you sure, Marsha? I went to see Mr. Grishan just now. He told me about the offer he had made you. He paid you the supreme compliment. He decided to confess before the court than going for a trial with you. Confess? Yes, you are highly truthful. I honor and respect you. How sincerely you handle all these things.